This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Welcome to my arcade, and today we will be learning how to do the freeze frame effect that I did with Liza Koshi. I posted this effect on Instagram, and I had a ton of people asking how I did it, and it's really simple. It's just Premiere and Photoshop. First things first, drag the footage you want to create freeze frames for and drag it into Adobe Premiere. And if you wanna do this effect, I feel like the only times it looks cool is if you're going into motion. You want it to almost be an echo of some kind of quick action. All right, so my process with this is I wanted to make sure that every few seconds, she left an arm where she was just at. So I would go over a few frames and I would right click on my timeline and just hit add marker. And then I would go over a few frames and then right click and add marker. And the reason we create the marker is because where each of these are, we're gonna take a screenshot of the footage. Right underneath of your video player, you have all these icons. You can just hit export frame. Let's just say Liza one for this and hit okay. And then go over to your next marker, export frame, Liza two. You can change the format in which you want these pictures. I just keep it at JPEG. And if you hit browse, you can pick where all these are landing and I just have them go into my downloads. Hit OK. And so now we have three screenshot of Liza at three different points. Now if we open up Photoshop, so find the screenshots that you took and then just drag them into Photoshop. The quickest way to just get rid of all the background is if you go up here to the quick selection tool and just change the size up a little bit, maybe like 15. This tool basically sticks to like colored pixels, so it can decipher where she is and whatnot. And if you accidentally select stuff that's not what you want, you can actually pull down Alt and then drag, and it'll get rid of stuff that you've selected. And I will say with this effect, having a little bit of rough edges, like right here where her hair is cut off, really doesn't matter, because if you're creating a lot of these freeze frames over, over top of each other, the small shitty edges of these will be so unnoticeable. So once you think you have your subject perfectly outlined, you can just hit M, right click, and then do layer via cut. Unlock your bottom layer there and just make it invisible. And you can see you now have a cutout of Liza Koshi. Go to the top of Photoshop, hit file, export and quick export as PNG, which just means the background is gonna be transparent. And then let's open Premiere back up and find out where our freeze frames are and let's just drag them in. And the reason we created these markers is so we know where to line these things up at. As you can see right after this marker, that freeze frame stays there. So if we line up these other two, she leaves these freeze frames. Or you could even use this the opposite way. Instead of putting all of the freeze frames on the right side of the markers, you could put them on the left side so she's falling into the freeze frames. And now if we play that back, she falls into them. Now, the extra step that I did, all of these freeze frames have to be happening behind her, which means you have to frame by frame mask her out and put her on top of all these layers. So I took this clip at the very bottom, the original video. I, I hold Alt and I drag it to the top of everything. And you're gonna right click and open it up in an After Effects composition. Keep in mind, this is just the more like advanced way to do this effect. There's plenty of cool ways to use this effect without having to mask your subject on top of them. So now that you're in Premiere, literally all you do is just hit this roto brush tool at the very top and you just mask her out frame by frame. This was honestly, this was the most difficult part doing this effect because this took forever. Cause you have to get so specific to even like the tops of her fingers if you want it to perfectly cover the freeze frames. I'm just gonna do this super quick, just to give you a rough idea of like what this looks like. And so now I've just transferred back into Premiere with our uh, After Effects composition on top of everything. So if we zoom in, you can see because I uh, have masked her on top of these clips, she's actually still on top of this freeze frame and leaving it there. So if you're willing to spend that extra time to go frame by frame and mask your subject on top of the freeze frames, it's a lot more satisfying to look at because it looks like she's leaving a trail behind her. All right, that's the tutorial. So it's basically a cute little blend between Premiere, Photoshop, and After Effects. Make your Instagram feed stand out by using the effects that I teach you guys. Also, what do you guys think of my new background? I created an entire arcade and it's also the perfect editing tutorial background. And if you guys haven't seen that arcade video yet, it's incredible and I think it's I think it's been slept on. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see some of you using this effect. And of course, I got to thank my sponsors, 
Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform and it appeals to many career people. Say you want to be a photographer or a filmmaker, they've got beautiful online portfolios where you can aesthetically showcase your work to the world. And so basically if you're looking for a place to put all your work, Squarespace is a great way to do that. And if you're a videographer, you can even set your home screen on Squarespace to be a video. So the first thing people see when they go to your website is your work. And guys, they have 24 hour award winning customer service. You know how difficult that is to come by? And not to mention they have award winning designer templates. So everything about Squarespace will make your website look incredible. Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed. And if you're watching this, you're a creator. It'd be weird if you were watching a tutorial just for pure entertainment. So go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack for 10% off your first website or domain. Top link in the description below. And guys, let's not forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.